Hi, so we're going to start posting videos on long division and it's one of those areas that it's fairly easy to trip up but uh, there are a couple of different methods that you can use in order to make the calculation. Um, however, this particular one, the first video, is I'm going to show you a formal method of doing long division. So let's say we had a question which was something like 427 divided by 16. In other words, what we're saying is how many lots of 16 are there in 427? We could actually write this as 427 over 16 or divided by 16. It means exactly the same thing. So if it's presented as a fraction, what we're going to be doing is changing that to a whole number and then a little bit that's left over. And the way that we do that is to use um, the bus stop method. Looks a little bit like a bus stop. And it's just a, a way of representing the short division calculation. And the thing that we do then is we say how many lots of 16 are there in 4? So you can see the 4 there. Um, well, actually, there aren't any. We can't, if we have a group of four, so we have four suites, and we try to take 16 suites away, we, we can't do that. So what we have to do then is move that four over to the two and say how many lots of 16 are there in 42? Okay, well, the whole area with long division really is to use your own multiplication and estimation skills. Now I know that two lots of 16 is 32 and I know that there's 42 there so I have 10 left over so I'm not going to be able to make another group of 16. So I have my 2 and that becomes 32 and what's left is 10. Now it seems a little bit complicated at the moment if you just kind of ignore the 7 that's at the end. Uh, you can see that really all I've done is a takeaway. I have 10 there and what I'm going to do now is just to recognize that I've got to deal with that 7. So I'm going to bring that 7 down. And now my calculation is how many lots of 16 are there in 107? Okay. Well, again, it's my own estimation skill. Now, if I, if I look at 16, if it was 10 lots of 16, it would be 160, which would be too much. If it was 5 lots of 16, it would be half 160, which is 80, which would be too little. So my guess is it's going to be 6 lots of 16. Okay? And the way to check that is to write it as a short multiplication. So 16 times 6. 6 times 6 is um, 36. 3 to carry. 6 ones are 6. Plus 3 is 96. And actually, that's quite a good guess because the difference between 107 and 96 would not be enough to give me another group of 16. So I've got 96 here. And I'm going to take it away, and that's 1, and that's 1. So the answer to my question is 2, remainder 11. So in other words, it's not, it's 26, remainder 11. <laughs> I forgot to put my 6 in. So it's going to be 26, remainder 11. So in other words, if I have 427 suites, and I'm going to put them into party bags and 16 sweets is going to go into each of the party bags. I can now make 26 party bags and I have 11 sweets left over. Or if you prefer, this uh, 427 divided by 16 would be the equivalent to 26 holes and then 11 out of the 16 left over. So what this method will do is provide you with a whole number and a fraction calculation. Now what I can do then is if I prefer I can carry on and change that to a decimal calculation. And what I'll do is I'll post another video 
about that particular one using the same calculation and you can see the equivalent and really what we're doing is we're actually working out the decimal equivalent of 11 sixteenths because we know it's going to be 26 whole ones and then 11 sixteenths as a decimal equivalent. Um, I hope that's okay. Um, it might take a little bit of time um, to work through this and do feel free to stop the video and work through things but the main key area is to try to make sure that you develop your estimation skills so that you can work through these numbers and make sure that each time you always have less than 16 left so you can't create another lot of 16. Um, I hope that's okay and please do contact us, have a look on the site, uh, there are some questions there for you to have a go at.